Okay, so we are going to uh, explore the database first approach with the Spring Tool Suite version 4.8.0 as you can see. Uh, so let me get started with Spring Tool Suite. So the tool which we are going to use uh, will be, we will need to in install the extension. What I mean is we will need to install the um, extension from the Eclipse Marketplace, which is called JBoss Tools. So Spring Tool Suite is starting. So if you kind of uh, go and take a look, we have this. Uh, J Boss tools for clips, right? So, um, and within J Boss tools, uh, we will have this uh, tool called Hibernate tools, which we will be installing, right? So, uh, in order to work with database first approach. So, in database first, what do we do is we have the database. So, as in this case, the database I am using is uh, Microsoft SQL Server. So you can replace it with the uh, MySQL or PostgreSQL, anything, anything which uh, Spring Data ORM, Spring Data JPA will support. And uh, using that, we will be generating the entities and POJOs uh, uh, directly, right? So let's see how it goes. So what we have is uh, Spring Tool Suite. Let me go and install the extension right away from the Eclipse Marketplace. The name of extension is uh, JBoss Tools. Wait, wait, it will take some time, right? So uh, for this marketplace to load. Hold on, let it come. Okay, here it is. So let me search for JPOS tools stall. I'm not pinging it all over here. So JPOS tools, here it goes. Installation may take some time depending on the internet speed you have. So JPOS tools 4.17.0 final. So and in the JBoss tools, I do not have to install all the tools. I just have to install Hibernate tools, right? So let it fetch. Let's wait for some time. So you can see it has fetched, right? So what I'm interested in this Hibernate tools, right? So let me install it. Confirm. And uh, here it goes. And, and, and. Accept the license and fetch. So it is in fetching and installing as we wait for some time. 7% is done. Let's wait. 8% is done. 26% done. 49 then. So install anyway, it is asking us for the certificate. And it will it will requires me to restore the spring tool suite. No worries, we'll restart it really quickly. Wait, 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 wait. It will just finish. Oh, here it is. So now with this thing in place, uh, I think uh, you will you allow to receive any messages? No, that doesn't matter. It's harmless by the way, but as of now, I'm just going to uninstall the this uh, JBoss tools after I'm done with this uh, 
recording yeah so let me quickly create a new project so it is going to be the um, spring starter project right and let's say zero zero one database first kind of thing you know and i'm going to use gradle as my build tool you can also use maven doesn't matter uh, for this project it will not matter because i'm going to use the wizard only to add the dependencies so i will use gradle uh, jdk version let it be 8 uh, even if it is 11 doesn't matter so project name contains spaces no it doesn't contain spaces oh it contains spaces here next the dependencies i am going to use see uh, since i am going to connect with the sql express so I'm going to use uh, MS SQL Server driver. So if you want to connect with the MySQL, you can use MySQL or Oracle and Oracle, or um, depending on what kind of database we want to connect with. And uh, I'm going to use Spring Data JPA as my ORM. Nothing else is needed. That's it. Minimal dependencies, right? So a Spring Boot version is 2.4.0, as you can see. Next, finish. So that we'll go and create the Spring Boot Starter project using two dependencies, one which is required to connect with the MS SQL Server and one which we should act as an ORM, that is the Spring Data JPA. So here we are ready. So the first thing, first step is to kind of go and create the uh, Hibernate configuration file, right? So um, I will create a new file. I will call it uh, Hibernate dot c f g dot xml it looks like spring is correct in source me in java as you can see the contents which will go in hibernate dot c f g dot xml i will copy and paste it from the another file right so i will go to the source view paste it here so you can see xml version is 1.2 utf encoding is utf8 Rest of the things are nothing but my, uh, what do you say, connection string. So driver class name comes over here. Uh, SQL server is already running. Let me just show you. I hope it is running. If it is not running, I will start it. Server management studio. And I've got my dialect and username password, right? So if you are using MySQL as a database, so this driver will be com.mysql.jdbc.driver. This connection string will change. Credentials may change and dialect will change, right? So here I have uh, server management studio for SQL server started. Connect. And if you see in the databases, I have the CRM database, right? This is nothing but the database which I uh, uh, sample database which I downloaded from the internet, right? So it does not have no. Right, so if you go in tables, you have it, right? Production, sales, and production and sales idea. Let's go and create some entities and POJOs now. Right? So with this thing in place, I think we are ready. Save the project. Now I will switch the perspective. As of now, I'm in the, uh, what do you say, uh, Java perspective, right? As you can see. I will switch to the new perspective, which is a Hibernate perspective. Now Hibernate perspective will come if you install Hibernate tools from JBoss tools, right? So let's open. So here you will get this Hibernate configuration window. In there you have a plus icon wherein I need to add the configuration, right? So I will add a new configuration. Okay, name of the configuration is let's say uh, HT001 um, MSSQL. Right? So let this be the name of the configuration. Okay, one thing you should one thing you should consider over here is that using Hibernate version. If you use 5.3 and 5.4, then annotations will not be generated properly. So I will recommend using 5.2, right? So that, that's the point. 5.4 and 5.3 doesn't work as per my knowledge. Uh, maybe I may be wrong. I may, may not have done the proper configurations, but 5.2 just works. I will show you what doesn't work if you use 5.3 and 5.4. So you're selecting 5.2. The project I have is database first, this one. Uh, then I need to select the, uh, this. let this be the Hibernate configured connection. Configuration file is, uh, I want to use the existing file, which I have, which we have just created. It is in the uh, source main Java, right? Hibernate.cfg.xml. So with this thing, uh, I think nothing else is needed anywhere. 
we are all good so with just this options click on apply and okay so here you have it hold on wait 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 database it you can see it is fetching the children of the database right let it fetch let it fetch it will take some time please wait fetching children of the database please wait Generally, depending on the size of the database, it might take some time, depending on the data which is in the database also. So, sometimes two or three minutes, sometimes five minutes, sometimes ten minutes, depending. Right? If it is a very simple database, it might finish only in less than a minute or so. Let it finish. Let it finish. Let it finish. Oh, wow, here we have it. I was just having sipping around my sipping my cup of tea, sipping the tea from the cup, not cup of tea. <laughs> okay, so we have a CRM production sales sales, right? So you have it. So with this thing done, I can go ahead and use the run Hibernate code generation and Hibernate code generation. I can use this Hibernate tools to generate the code for me, right? So I, I have it in run external tools, ideally Hibernate code generation and uh, Hibernate code generation configuration not in external tools huh? yeah so that's what i will select okay so i need to kind of you know um uh launch the new configuration from here right so what is the new configuration maybe i can name it if i want uh, let me call it uh, hibernate tools j01 config right so and what's the file, uh, what's the configuration I'm going to use, HT001, that's what I selected over here, created over here, right? Okay. What is going to be my output directory? So my output directory is going to be, ideally I did not create the entity package, right? No worries. Um, source, main, Java is going to be my output directory. And I want to reverse engineer from the JDBC connection. That's what I want to do it. And the copy package is going to be com.example.pojo. I want to create all the pojos first, and then I will go ahead and create all the entities. Okay, so reverse engineering XML file I have to generate. So I will use this wizard to generate one, right? So um, setup. And uh, do you want to create a new rebeng.xml? I want to create a new. So where do I want to get it inside the source folder, right? Next, a refresh. So it will list down all the tables over here. The way it is listed on the left, right? It will list over here also. I have clicked on refresh. Need to wait for some time. Let's have a cup of tea. Too. You know, wait is a key to success. Who sees you do not have to wait? In government offices, you have to wait. In bureaucracy, you have to wait. To get the job done, you have to wait. Even if you pray to God, you have to wait, right? So even with the database first thing, you have to wait. You have to wait everywhere. Without wait, there is no success, right? Yeah, only after waiting, we get to know whether <laughs> it will be success or failure. So, hope we get some, you know, if, if it flows like a stream, the way we have in these streams, right? So, uh, 
uh, data comes as a response in these streams, right? So it never comes in one big chunk. So I hope here also it comes as stream. So here it is. So I'm interested in the production and sales as of now, right? So I will include it. Here it is. Click on finish. Uh, exporters not needed. Yeah, exporters needed now. So my this screen job is done. So if anything is wrong, my OJOs won't be created. So do not worry in that case. I will kind of resolve that issue and then make it sure that OJOs are created. Anything else need to be checked? No. I will go to the exporters and I want to create a domain code, right? Right. I want to create a domain code. I'm not checking this checkbox. Use Java 5 syntax and generate EJB3 uh, annotation. I'm not checking that they are unselected. I'm just, I just want to select create a POJO that is domain code. I'm not even creating the DAO code, right? So F type and run. Something is happening. Boom. Let's go and see in our package export explorer. So in the database first, you can see uh, com example demo is there. That, that is there because of the Spring Boot application. And in com example POJO, you have all the POJOs, right? Can you see? All the POJOs are in place with the respective getters and setters and all those things. So you can see um, each product will have the order item. So each order is, is having the order items and each uh, category has got multiple products, right? Now let's kind of go and create NTD. Make sense? So again, I need to go to run. Hibernate code generation. Entities are not yet created. Hibernate code generation configuration. So this time I want to create an entity inside com example entity. You can create a new configuration. Maybe ht 1 config POJO, ht 2 config entity in that way. If you want to have the separate uh, code generation configurations, but I, I'm okay with this. Only single one is okay. Uh, everything else is okay. Everything else is same. No change as such. Uh, but this time I'm going to select uh, what you call use Java 5 syntax and generate EJB3 annotation. These are the two checkboxes I will select, which in turn will help generate the entity, right? So, no refresh. I'm not kind of going to refresh anything as of now. If at all you want, you might want to select these specific resources and then select this project depending on how you want to refresh it, but not need it as of now, right? So you can leave it the way it is, apply, run. Done. So here you have the NDD also, right? So runs, you can see proper annotations are in place, right? So categories and all those things working fine. Uh, you have got the entities, uh, multiple products. The only difference over here is uh, generally when we use at the rate columns and at the rate IDs, right? Uh, in the Spring Data JPA, we use it with the entity class variables. Here it is all used uh, in the getters and the, uh, you know, uh, here in the getters and all those things, right? So if you see, and take a look at the products. So no at the rate ID or at the rate column annotations are used over here. They are all used with the getters, right? You can see over here, many to one join column and all those things in place. So I think that is it. The database first approach, we connected the our with the help of Hibernate tools, we did it. Hibernate tools is the part of JBoss tools, which you need to install from the Eclipse marketplace, right? So, and uh, we connected with the SQL Server database. You can connect with any other database. The only thing you will need to change is the Hibernate configuration file, which is this one. You need to change the connection strings, database environment information over here, and that's it. Everything will just work fine. Yeah, one more thing you will need to change. If you are using Gradle build, then you might need to change this uh, driver, driver uh, right? So if you are using MySQL, then respective driver, then Oracle, then respective driver, PostgreSQL, then respective driver. That's it, no other change, and I think it will just work fine. Right, so database of first approach, so easy. Of course, after installing the Hibernate tools, right? So, fine. Take care. Good luck. Bye. I hope that was easy.